I remember the first time I heard about FUBAR. It was whispered among horror enthusiasts and cinephiles as an underground legend, an eerie banned movie that had never seen the light of day. Naturally, my curiosity got the better of me, and I became obsessed with uncovering its dark secrets. Late one night, while delving into obscure internet forums and unsettling rumors, I stumbled upon a cryptic website that promised access to FUBAR. The site was a labyrinth of eerie visuals and cryptic text, and it bore a chilling warning. Watch at your own peril. With trepidation, I clicked the link, and a video began to play. The screen flickered to life, revealing grainy, disorienting footage. The camera seemed to roam through dimly lit corridors of a decaying building, each step echoing with dread. There was no discernible plot, just a series of disjointed, disturbing scenes. Faces twisted in agony, contorted beyond recognition, filled the screen. Inexplicable horrors unfolded, a room filled with pulsating, writhing masses, shadowy figures lurking in the corners of dilapidated rooms, and grotesque, otherworldly creatures that seemed to defy reality. The film's unsettling soundtrack was a cacophony of dissonant, discordant tones, a disorienting symphony that resonated deep within my bones. It left me with a feeling of profound unease, as though something malevolent lurked just beyond the screen. As the minutes ticked by, the footage grew increasingly surreal. I watched in horrified fascination as the boundaries between the movie and reality began to blur. Shadows danced on the walls of my dimly lit room, and strange whispers echoed in the darkness. I tried to look away, to end this macabre experience, but I couldn't tear my eyes from the screen. It was as though the movie had ensnared my very soul, pulling me deeper into its nightmarish realm. Then it happened. The screen flickered, and a grotesque figure leapt from the screen and into my room. It was a nightmarish, contorted creature, its eyes filled with an insatiable hunger for my fear. Paralyzed with terror, I watched as it drew closer, its limbs elongating and warping with each step. With a surge of adrenaline, I slammed my laptop shut, severing the connection to FUBAR. The room fell into an eerie silence, and the menacing presence dissipated. I never dared to open that laptop again, nor did I ever speak of FUBAR to anyone. It was a haunting experience that left me with a profound sense of dread, a reminder that some horrors should remain hidden, and that the line between fiction and reality can blur in the most unsettling of ways.